hello friends welcome back to the selenium tutorials in this tutorial we would be learning how to select an option from a drop down list so let's start we'll take example from this website here you could see there is a drop down list select a period and if i want to select any option like yesterday or last week or rolling month or custom date like if i want to select any of these options with the help of selenium how would i do that we will be covering this in this particular tutorial so first of all whenever we want to deal with these kinds of objects we should know the internal html structure of these web objects so if i want to see the internal html structure what i'll do i'll activate the firebug i'm activating the firebug by clicking this by icon on the top right hand corner of the firefox browser i'm assuming you have firebug and firepath installed so here you could see the firebug has activated now to view the html properties of this selector period drop down what i'll do is i would click on this arrow icon here and now hover my mouse to this object so when i do that selector period drop down would get highlighted here you could see something in blue has been highlighted below and if you would carefully see the first Thing, the HTML tag used here is select S E L E C T select whenever we find any web object with this select tag we should remember that selenium internally provides a class named as select to handle objects which have this HTML tag select generally you would fi find elements such as drop down list and multi select drop downs having this HTML tag as select and whenever we come across objects with this HTML tag select we should always use Selenium's inbuilt HTML sorry Selenium's inbuilt, inbuilt select class to handle these objects now how to do that for doing what well, we go to Eclipse so let's go to Eclipse and actually see the select class So here I have already created a class. I am assuming that you have properly configured your Java project with Selenium WebDriver. Guys, if you are unsure about this, please refer to my previous tutorials in which I have explained how to configure the Java project with Selenium WebDriver jar files. Also from this tutorial onwards, I will not be showing how to create a class that has been covered extensively in my previous tutorial. So I have already created a class for this example and I have performed a few steps like I am uh, navigating to this website, I am entering the username then password and then I am clicking the submit button and when I click that submit button, I would be thrown to this page where I have this drop down list and my intention here is to select some value from this drop down list using selenium's select class so guys we'll start that so the first and foremost thing which we require is whenever we want to use selenium's select class we have to import something if you could see line number four i have just highlighted it we need to import this class that is import org.openqa.selenium.support.ui.select whenever we want to use selenium's inbuilt select class it is mandatory to import this file so i have already imported this so by chance if you forget importing it then eclipse would definitely help us so for explaining i'm just removing it now and now i'll use the select class so the first step is I'm creating an object of the select class. The syntax is select any object name. I'm taking obj select is equal to new select. So if you would see some red marks have appeared, red marks indicates errors. So I'll just hover my mouse and Eclipse would give me a list of suggestions. So here you could see it is suggesting me to import this I select the first option just click on it and if I would see on the top this has got imported and the red mark which was there on the select text has vanished now 
it is showing me some red mark over here because here I need to provide on which web element I need to use this obj select so in our case we need to pro uh, perform some actions on this drop down list so within the bracket I would be passing this object we have done this a number of times it is very simple I would use the web driver object which is obj driver you could see on line number 13 I have already created this web driver object so I would be using this and I would be telling my obj select object that you have to be used to perform some actions on this select a period drop down so if I just view the properties I could see its ID is period P R I O D. So I would be identifying this selector period drop down with the help of ID. So the syntax is very simple. I would be using obj driver dot find element and using ID. So by dot ID and within brackets within inverted quotes I am passing the ID which is period. So if you would see the object has been created there are no red marks now so we have removed the errors and the object to perform some action on this drop down has been created. The syntax is very simple it is select which is the class name obj select this could be any name then is equal to new select and then we provide on which element we need to use this object. So in our case it was the period drop down list so we have just used the simple syntax to identify the period drop down which is obj driver dot find element dot by id and passing the id of that drop down list. So how to select an option from the drop down list so I will be using this obj select object if I just write obj select and do a dot. I get a number of methods which are available over here. So now my intention is to select some option. So we would use the select method. There are a number of select methods. I'll just go through them. So here you could see the first three options that is select by index, select by value, select by visible text. First I'll explain what is select by visible text. So as the name suggests, it's quite self-explanatory. We want to select the from the options available in the drop-down using the visible text. So we'll see what is the available visible text in the drop-down. So here if you would see, these are the visible text. I'm just clicking on this drop-down list. These are the options and the visible text is as it is like if I want to select yesterday the visible text is Y E S T E R D A Y if I want to select last week it is L A S T space W E E K so if I assume like we want to select last week how would I do that using select by visible text so I'll just write last week within the brackets so here I would be writing last week it should be exactly how it is here on the screen. It is case sensitive. So we should be careful. L is capital, W is capital. So I have also written L and W capital. You could also view the options by just clicking on the plus sign below, like from the firebug window. If I click on the plus sign of that of this drop down list, I could view all the options over here. So the text is this. I'm just highlighting it this is the visible text which is last week so if i go back to eclipse here i am using obj select dot select by visible text and passing last week so when the execution would would get completed select would select week would get selected in the drop down list let's let's understand what are the other select methods so i'm just using the same object if i do a dot select by index now what is select by index 
if I'm using select by index and we'll take the same example and if I want to select last week then I should pass 0, 1, 2. Last week is at the third location but internally the index begins from 0 so I need to pass 2. So if I'm using select by index I would be passing 2. Both select by visible text last week and select by index 2 would select last week from this drop down list. There is another method. Let's un understand that. That is interesting, which is obj select dot select by value. Now, what is select by value? To understand this, once again, we will take the help of Firebug. Here, if you would see the options which we just saw, if you would see like each option has something called value, value equal to last day, value equal to last underscore week. So if I need to select last week using select by value, I need to pass what value is there in this HTML text. So here it is last underscore week. So I'll go back to Eclipse. If I'm using select by value, I need to pass the value which we saw from the Firebug window, which was last underscore week. I repeat, the value which are available over here, like value for yesterday is last underscore day. So if I need to select yesterday using select by value, I should pass last underscore day. Here we are selecting last week, its value is last underscore week. So I am passing last underscore week here. So these lines obj select select by visible text last week, obj select select by index 2, obj select select by value last week would perform the same option like they would select last week from that drop down list. I generally prefer select by visible text because I need not check with the index I need not count at what value I need to select and I do not prefer select by value because I need to go into the HTML structure to find what is the value for that particular option so I generally use select by visible text it is up to you you could use any of these for now I would just comment these two lines you all could try at your in your uh, systems these options now you just execute it and see whether it is working fine or not. So we will now execute this. To execute it's very simple. Right click anywhere on the screen. Run as Java application. So here the website is getting launched. I had already written those steps in the Selenium scripts. I just, I did not explain it entirely, which we have covered in our previous examples, how to launch the browser, how to enter values in the text boxes, which, which we have already covered. So I had already written those lines in the code. So now it will click on the let me in button. It has already done that. And now it would be thrown to the page where we have a drop down in which it would try to select the last week option. So here we are, we could see the selector period drop down. Now let's see whether Selenium is able to select the option which we just passed in the Java code. So if you could see, it has already done that. Last week has been selected in this drop down list. So the code has worked perfectly and we have learned how to select an option from a drop down list using the select class which Selenium WebDriver internally provides. So guys, whenever you come across drop down list and multi select drop down list, please use this select class, create an object of it and the things would become very simple. Now there are other important functions which the select class provides so we'll just take a few examples so if if i need to deselect something so i could use obj select dot deselect 
all. Now deselect all. I could not use in our case. I'll explain you why. The drop down list. This drop down list is a sing like it is not a multi select. I could select only one option at a time in this drop down list. I cannot select multiple options. So this deselect method obj select dot deselect all I cannot use in our case because it is a single select it is only valid for multi select drop down list so if I use this method the code would throw an error you could just try it in your systems what error it would throw but it won't work in case of single select drop down list you could definitely use it in multi select what this method would actually do is like if some values are selected in the drop down it would clear those values now in your test case there could be a scenario where you need to set like deselect all the options which are by default selected so this would be very helpful but this won't work in single select drop down list it would work only for multi select so what would what to do in case of single select now there are other methods as well which are obj select dot deselect deselect by index it is just the reverse of select by index like whatever index value I would provide within the parameter it would deselect it so if I need to deselect if I need to deselect last week the index would be 0 1 2 it would be this deselect by index would take this index and it would deselect the last week option and it would set the default value which is select a period when the slip would get executed there are other deselect methods as well like obj select dot deselect by well deselect by value here we need to pass the value which is there in the HTML text it is just the reverse of select by value and we have deselect by visible text it is also just the reverse of select by visible text it would unselect the selected option so if I want to deselect last week I would just pass this the visible text last week and when the script would get executed this option would get deselected these you could try in your systems they are very simple I am not creating a separate example for these you could just try it in your systems so guys we have completed this tutorial in which we learned how to select and deselect options from the drop down list always remember whenever you come across drop down list or multi select drop down list just check the HTML structure if you find the select tag always use selenium web drivers select class create an object pass the object you could use find element by xpath also where you have you here we have used id because id was available to us you could use xpath also or any other identification method you just need to tell that object uh, tell this object on which drop down we have to perform by passing the correct xpath or the ID or the CSS selector and then you could use the methods which are available like select by visible text or select by index or select by value and if you need to deselect you could just use the reverse methods which are deselect by index deselect by visible text deselect by value so guys I am done with this tutorial in the next tutorial we would be learning something more about drop down list we would learn how to fetch all the possible options from the drop down list i'll be covering that in my next tutorial guys thanks for joining hope to see you soon in my next tutorial thanks bye bye